Hi, my name is Elizabeth Emil and I'm an academic counselor in LSU's University College. In this video, we're going to talk about how to schedule courses via your MyLSU schedule request. To access your MyLSU schedule request, first you will log in to your MyLSU account by going to the website on the screen. Next, you'll click on Registration Services, then Schedule Request. Once there, select LSU as the campus, select the desired semester, and then click View Schedule Request. You will only be able to view this final screen if your scheduling priority has opened and you are clear of holds. Otherwise, a message will appear on the top of your screen telling you when your schedule requests will become available or that you have a hold on your account. If you have a hold, be sure to contact the appropriate office that is listed on your schedule request in order to resolve it. Scheduling opens at 5 p.m. on the day of your priority. Once your scheduling priority opens, you are able to schedule your courses at any time. It is always best to schedule your courses on your scheduled day at 5 p.m. to increase chances of course availability. Sometimes, if you're logging in right at 5 p.m., the system may be at full capacity. If that's the case, continue to refresh your page until you are allowed in. Don't worry if you're not able to log on at exactly the day and time of your scheduling priority. Just schedule your courses the moment you can. Remember, the longer you wait to schedule your courses, the more likely your courses will fill up. Once you have accessed your schedule request, there will be six rows of boxes that you can fill in. Although it appears as though you can add up to six courses at once, this is not the case. The system only allows you to add one course at a time. To add a course, first you will add the department abbreviation course number and section number in the appropriate boxes. Filling in the box for credit hours is optional. For further instruction about how to interpret and gather information on course offerings, you can watch our video on navigating LSU course offerings. If you do not know the section number or don't have a specific section in mind, only fill in the department and course number boxes and then click the question mark next to the section box number for a list of all course sections. We will talk about that a little later. Once you have at least the first three boxes filled in, the second step is to click add course directly beneath the course number box. Assuming that the course is available, the third step is to check for the add successful message in red under the current schedule section of the schedule request. Continue this three-step process until you have completed your schedule. Students typically enroll in 15 to 17 hours per semester, but must be enrolled in at least 12 hours or full-time status for certain financial aid and scholarship requirements. All students are limited to 17 hours of course enrollment during the initial scheduling phase. Once all scheduled dates have opened, students' enrollment hours are increased to 19 unless the student is on academic probation. At this point, I also want to mention that it is okay if one of your classes appears to end at the same time another begins on the schedule request. For example, if you have a class from 9.30 to 10.30 on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and another from 10.30 to 11.30 on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, this is perfectly fine. All of your classes will actually finish 10 minutes sooner than listed on the schedule request, so you'll have plenty of time to transition to your next class. If you need to know if the course has any prerequisites, then click on the Check Prerequisites button to the right of the Add Course button. If you desire to drop a course you added, click the Drop button. Upon selecting the drop button, a dialog box will appear. Select OK to proceed with dropping the class. If the course is not available for the semester or is full, a red heading will appear at the top of the screen stating the course is no longer available. When this occurs, you have two options. You can search for another available section or you can whitelist a full section. Let's first discuss how to search for alternative sections in the schedule request. 
You can search for course selections by filling in the department and course number boxes at the top and then clicking the question mark next to the section box number. This will produce a list of all sections of the course below. For many courses, there are multiple sections of the class available in a given semester. An example of this would be English 1001. The different sections mean that the course may have different professors teaching the different days and times throughout the week. Each section earns you credit in the same course. This can give you more options as you create your upcoming semester schedule. Section availability is found at the far left of this list and will be most up to date through your My LSU schedule request. Although the LSU Course Offerings website provides the same information, it is only updated once a day and changes to course availability made during the day will not be reflected until the next day. Once you have found an available course section that works with your schedule, choose your desired class by clicking on its highlighted section number. The Schedule Request screen will then populate the correct section number in the corresponding box at the top. Then you'll want to click Add Course. And this adds the course to your current schedule, which you can view towards the bottom of the screen. When a course section is full, your second option is to add yourself to a waitlist. Waitlist means that if a person drops or is purged from a full course, the first person on the waitlist will then become enrolled. If additional people leave the course, then the next few people on the waitlist will be enrolled. You can view the number of students on a waitlist by looking at the fourth column from the left once you search for section availability. To waitlist a course, add the course as you normally would. Then a message will appear under the schedule request results indicating that the section is full and the waitlist is available. You can add yourself to the waitlist by selecting either W or WD to the right. W stands for just waitlist whereas WD stands for waitlist drop and gives authorization for the schedule request to drop any time conflicted courses from your schedule if you secure a position in the class. Next, let's review considerations before waitlisting a course. First, waitlisting does not guarantee you will secure a spot in the class. For this reason, we do not recommend waitlisting critical courses that you need to be enrolled in if there are other available sections. On the other hand, if every section of the critical course is full, we definitely recommend waitlisting so you have a chance of securing a spot in the course. Second, your enrollment in the class depends on other students dropping or being purged from the course. Third, you may only join up to three waitlists at once. Along with that, you may only join one waitlist per course. Fifth, you cannot join a waitlist and be enrolled in another section of the same course. You must choose one or the other. Also, you cannot be overridden into a full section by an academic counselor. If a course is full, it is full. And lastly, waitlist of courses do not count towards hours required for certain financial aid and scholarships. So if you were enrolled in nine hours, but on the waitlist for three, you are still not considered to be full time. Thanks for watching today and learning more about how to schedule via your MyLSU scheduled request. We of course recommend watching the rest of our scheduling videos for more information about the scheduling process to ensure your success at LSU. As always, the advisors on campus are here to help if you have any questions. Please do not hesitate to reach out for more assistance.